Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today, we got the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. Two 9 and 2 teams, two division rivals, and two teams that are playing this Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium. Gonna be a big game because this could potentially decide the AFC West. As you see, almost throws a pick on third down, forced him to punt on fourth down. As we get the ball here, and you know who he's got? He's got a great home field advantage here at Arrowhead Stadium. They're gonna try to give him every single home field advantage as possible, and we got. Demarius Thomas who almost fumbled the ball in the first play. Thankfully, we avoided that turnover that allows us to go over the top on the next play to Demarius. That would have been a really BS way to start the play if um, the Decker didn't get that fumble recovery. But what I realized was on that first play, he sent a blitz. So I was like, all right, cool. You want to send a blitz? Demarius Thomas is going to beat Brandon Flowers or any other person on the Chiefs over the top. Just one on one because he's just big, he's fast, and he's strong. And he gets a touchdown there, and that's all good. And for him, you know who he's got in the backfield Jamal Charles. We have the keen on Jamal Charles in this game, easily a top five running back in this league. So we gotta work it out for us to try to stop him. Well, I'm, it's gonna be really hard to stop him. Let's we'll just hope he can contain him here. Third down inches, hand out to Charles, who doesn't get much, but he gets enough inches to get the first down. And he is just running the ball every single play. Hurry up, run ball with Jamal Charles. Hurry up, run ball with Jamal Charles. And I'm like, you know, this is cool. Jamal Charles isn't getting injured. That's good for him. But I mean, usually when I run around people like that, they seem to always get injured. But um, this is like the ninth handoff for Charles in this drive, and it's all good, and it's working for him. He's getting to the goal line here, running it with the fullback, getting to the two-yard line here. Third down and goal at the two, gonna try to punch it in with Jamal Charles, but he gets tackled just short, and he runs hard up, gonna go for them fourth down. We try to stuff the line, and we make a stop on the fullback on fourth down and one. What a stop by our defense! And right away we go over the top to Demarius Thomas, who breaks a tackle and runs away from the Chiefs they all fall down and Demarius Thomas is the only one left standing for a 98 yard touchdown from fourth down and goal at the one to giving up a 98 yard touchdown very very demoralizing for my opponent but at the same time we're hyped this out right now we're firing on all cylinders and how about we get a lucky break because why not chris harris somehow jumps this route break a tackle break yet another tackle and chris harris is gone for a touchdown in the blink of an eye this game could have been 7-7 now it's 21 nothing after two plays two big plays that might have just killed him I mean, how do you recover from two plays like that, two big plays? Well, you go back to Jamal Charles. You go back to what worked for the most part on that last drive. And we're keen on it. I mean, he's not running the same exact play. It's just that you know, it's a decent play. And plus, Jamal Charles is Jamal Charles. He's fast, and he'll catch the edge more often than not. Second down and one, he comes out in different formation. He actually goes deep for the first time in this game. Wasn't expecting it, but he throws an 18-yard pass, which is by far the most downfield he's gone this game. He tries to run the ball there. Doesn't get much. Second down and eight. Alex Smith gets popped there by, yeah, by Von Miller there. And Alex Smith goes down. He is down for the count. And in comes, I believe, Chase Daniels on third down and 12. He runs a screen pass to guess who? Jamal Charles, but it doesn't get the first down. Brings up fourth down and two. And he's able to find, I believe, that's Fasano. Yeah, Anthony Fasano for the first down to keep his slim chances in this game alive, let alone this drive. There he throws it to Davis, the backup running back, spelling Jamal Charles there. I don't know if he spelled him or just was in the same formation, but either way, he got the first down. Next play, gives it to Jamal Charles. We're going to try to make another goal line stand here in second down and four. Got everything locked up, and he tries to run with the quarterback. I don't know if he tried to throw it or what, but it ends up being a turnover. It's a fumble, and there goes Adams. Look at Adams. Can we get another defensive touchdown in this game? The 25, the 20. He's running out of gas here comes Avery and Avery tackles him at the four yard line but still what a big play there and our offense is back in the field and this is kind of a foreign feeling because our offense hasn't been on the field since Demarius Thomas bombed that 98 yard touchdown so we're back here and on third down and goal after being a little bit shaky at the goal line we're able to punch in Moreno and get the touchdown so right now it's all Demarius Thomas, and it's all Peyton Manning, and it's all Noshawn Marino. That's what's getting the job done right now. For him, it's all Jamal Charles, but he has no points to show for it. He's been at the goal line twice, and he's turned it over twice. Once on a fumble, once on a fourth down stop. Just turn over on downs. So, 
you know, he's moving the ball decently, but you got to convert those opportunities, and he just hasn't. And now, this game is a blowout because of it. Third down, he tries to run the ball, gets nothing. Fourth down, obviously, he's going to go for it, and he's going deep for Dwayne Bow, who almost somehow came down with that. Thankfully, Champ Bailey's able to knock that loose. And next play, go back to Demarius Thomas. If you want to play him one-on-one, -on -one, I don't care with Sean Smith. I don't care with Brandon Flowers. I don't care with Lewis, Berry. Demarius Thomas will bomb you over the top for a touchdown. And that's what we did there yet again. 35 nothing. This game is over. This game is over for him. I don't know how he plans on coming back, but that throw is not the answer. Big hit there by Cromartie to force the ball loose. But unfortunately, Rogers Cromartie goes down out for the game. But I mean, that was a big play because on fourth down, you know, instead of it being first down, it was fourth down. He tries to run the ball there with Jamal Charles, gets nothing. We go back to Moreno because we don't really only have two guys in offense, Moreno and Thomas. I mean, road. I don't know anybody else's names. So I'm kidding. I just, you know, those are the two guys that are working here. We run into ball Moreno just for the hell of it. Just because why not? It's working, but we don't really get much. Third down and five. Pressure coming in Peyton's face, and we're able to convert. Well, it's going your way. It's going your way. You're able to make all the good reads there. Even though he got immediate pressure, we got um, Julius Thomas there in the middle on the trail route for the touchdown or angle route, whatever you want to call it. So it's 42 nothing right now, and you see he's basically giving up on the game. He's frustrated. He's mad. He's trying to lateral the ball back when there's no one to lateral to. He's pissed off, and we're just going to continue to put him in his misery because until the third quarter starts, I don't think he can send a concede defeat. So let's run some flea flickers. Why not? Because everything is working. We hit the Marius Thomas. We run hurry up, and we run the flea flicker again, and look who's one-on-one. -on -one. The Marius Thomas. Stop it. Stop it. You're going to learn today to not lead Demarius Thomas one-on-one. -on -one. Get safety help. Get any help. Because Demarius Thomas is too much of a beast. 49 nothing with 20 seconds left before half. And he's done. Just, just a spoiler alert. He's quitting at half. But right before he quits, we start calling our timeouts here. Because I'm like, all right, this is a good opportunity to get a stop. You are a fucking douchebag. Maybe I am a douchebag. Maybe because it's 49 nothing, I should just let it run till halftime. But I saw an opportunity to get points, and I took my opportunity. I'm sorry. But, um, hey, it's funny, man. These people, usually when I'm playing Madden, I'm like, or especially nowadays, I'm usually listening to music. I'm playing this game late at night. So I'm usually not listening to what my opponent's saying, if they're saying anything. But I gotta start listening, because with this new, um... Xbox one everybody's got their connect plugged in and they don't realize what they're saying that people can hear it So I gotta pay more attention to what people are saying like that guy that guy was mad But um as you see here he can seize his defeat we come out with the win easy win for us So I hope you guys leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it Subscribe if you want to see more man 25 next gen gameplay and until then I will catch you guys next time